Hello everyone, Republic Jim here, back in the barn, but today I'm not here for a workout, I'm here to talk about some outdoor gear. And just not really appropriate to do that outside right now, I haven't had a chance to get out and do a camp out recently. I have some new gear here, as well as some other new gear that should be arriving this week that I need to test out and want to do a video about, but this particular one is addressing something that I've already had for a while, and you know, it's for cold weather campouts, just for people who might not be aware of this type of product. Typically, I do cold adaptation, and when I'm up and around during the day, I can withstand some pretty extreme temperatures without having any major gear to help keep me warm. But when I sleep at night, then my body tends to cool off, and especially my feet. I know there's probably a fair amount of other people that have similar issues that feet have a hard time staying warm at night and you know I can sleep in a pretty warm sleeping bag or or other uh, you know just a, a, a poncho with liner or, th or bivy bag or things like that and most of me will be warm but I have to take extra steps to keep my feet warm so quite a while back now I, I got this particular product and I'm not endorsing any one brand I just want to talk about the item in general but it has really helped me out and it's something that's very compact and lightweight and easy to put in a pack so even if you're not actually going out doing backpacking or or uh, overnight campouts and such if you just have a bug out bag that you keep in your vehicle but you're concerned that you might need to have a, some emergency stay overnight and you want your feet to stay warm this would be a good option just to put in your pack and have it along so what I'm talking about comes in a little package and this is actually expanded a bit because the drawstring on this bag broke but it is very, very compressible. You can pack it down quite small. And what this is, is there's a pair of them in here, but these are down booties or slippers or whatever you want to call it. And they have goose down or, or duck down filling in them, and then a water-resistant nylon outer part on it. Some of them say waterproof, but of course anybody that does much outdoor stuff knows that waterproof doesn't really exist. It's, but something like this where you're, you should be using it when you're sleeping, you know, you're in bed, you're not walking around in snow and rain and such with it. It's water resistant. It'll it'll keep the water out. You know any condensation or anything like that. And it'll keep the down inside dry to where it can loft up and and give you some warmth. And of course, like I said, these these things really pack down small. But then once you get them out, then them a chance to breathe the the down expands and provides a great deal of insulation and you know these ones I got them a little bit large because for one thing you never want to have tight socks or anything on your feet when you're sleeping to allow circulation to stay warm and then also with it being a little bit bigger I can still wear a thin pair of sock liners inside just for an extra layer of insulation but then with these outers you know, it really helps with just that extra bit of warmth uh, you know you can have a warm sleeping bag 
but that foot box down at the bottom, you, you know, you might still be feeling a little chilly, but put these on just adds that extra little bit of comfort. As I said, that particular brand is nothing special. There's all sorts of different ones available online. In fact, I just looked it up on Amazon and it says that brand is currently unavailable. But typically they run anywhere from like the real low end ones, about $15 on up to $25 or $30. In fact, I actually saw a pair listed on there that went up clear up to or slightly over the knees that were the same type of thing, and, and those were about $30. So there's a lot of options, and just for something that takes up so little space and is so lightweight, it's well worth it. They've certainly made some of my nights a little bit more comfortable. So hopefully that's useful to somebody and I'll be trying to get back with some other outdoor content relatively soon as soon as I have a chance to get out and do some things and test out some new gear. This has been Republic Jim. I'll talk to you later.